Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build for the dev channel, which is build 22K509. In this build, we have a good set of improvements, also fixes regarding some settings from the old control panel coming to the new settings app, also changes to the start menu and of course as we're used to a lot of fixes regarding issues that were reported in the previous build if you like these videos where we talk about these new insider preview builds for the tip channel and for the beta channel don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one before starting the video a quick message from our sponsor this video is sponsored by copkeys.com. Copkeys is an official platform selling official Microsoft keys, game keys for Steam, Origin, and PlayStation. They now have a great Black Friday offer for the Windows 10 Pro license key. You can use the coupon code TB65 for a 65% discount on the Windows 10 license. After you apply the coupon, the price will be only $15. To activate the license, go into settings and activation. Click on change product key, paste the license and in a few seconds your Windows will be activated. You can use this license to upgrade or to activate Windows 11 also. Check out copkeys.com at the link below and use the promo code TB65 for a 65% discount. I've just installed this build a few minutes ago. It is build 22K509 and let's talk about everything that is new in this build and what I find more important that needs to be talked about. First of all, let's talk about some changes regarding the Microsoft Edge browser with the narrator. Before talking about this, don't forget that more info about all the changes in this new build, the fixes and the known issues are in the article down below in the description from the itstechbase.com website and you can find more info there and of course links to the official Microsoft website blog and so on and so forth. So now browsing the web in Microsoft Edge with Narrator is easier. Especially typing in edit fields should now be faster. When navigating around the web, more useful information is provided. And lastly, you will have a more consistent navigation experience with the Narrator. So Microsoft in this build made it easier to type in edit fields such as the address bar because the Narrator scan mode will now turn off faster. Especially if you press Ctrl plus L to jump to the address bar, you should be able to start typing immediately because scan mode will turn off sooner. Of course, more info about this will be in the article down below. I'm not going to talk much about this because personally, I'm not using the Edge browser and um, I don't find these changes really interesting. But if you're interested in this, check out the article down below for more info regarding this change. Some really interesting change in this build are made to the start menu. In the start menu, you can now right click on the start to quickly access start settings and choose the more pins or the more recommendations layout option to show an extra row of either pins or recommendations. So if you're in the start menu, right click on the start menu, click on start settings, and you can see that you have some new options here. You can have more pins basically in the start menu, you will have more pins and less recommended apps. The default is the default one. More recommendations will have less pinned apps and more recommended apps. You also have the options to show recently added apps, show most used apps, show recently opened items in start, jump lists, and file explorer. For example, I will enable show most used apps because I think this is very, very interesting. This is a new change that I like a lot and uh, props to Microsoft for doing this change in my opinion. In this build, finally, when you have a secondary monitor connected, the clock and date will also be displayed on the taskbar of that secondary monitor. So we waited a few months for this and finally Microsoft delivered this now this is implemented and you can see the clock and date on secondary monitors in Windows 11. For apps that send notifications for calls, reminders, or alarms that leverage Windows notifications in the OS, three high priority notifications will now be shown as stacked and shown at the same time. This means that at any given time, you might see up to five notifications at the same time, three high priority notifications and one normal priority notification. So this is beginning to roll out. So if you don't have it available, you should wait some time. But this is also an interesting change. Regarding the settings that are moving from the old control panel to the new settings app in Windows 11, Microsoft did some new changes to this as well. For example, they moved
removed the advanced sharing settings such as network discovery, file and printer sharing, and public folder sharing to a new page in settings under advanced network settings in network and internet. So here you will find options regarding the network discovery, file and printer sharing, and also the public folder sharing. Regarding printers and scanners, they made some changes in settings to show more information about your printer or scanner directly in settings when available. And also some of the entry points for network and devices settings in the old control panel will now redirect to the corresponding pages and settings. In the installed apps section, Microsoft added a new option to sort the list from name Z to A and accordingly updated the previous alphabetically option to now be called name A to Z. So now you have the option to sort them by name A to Z or name Z to A. Windows will now remember if you turn on Bluetooth or Wi-Fi while in airplane mode. Next time you use airplane mode, the radios will reflect your preference and stay on to make it easier to keep listening to headphones and remain connected while traveling. Windows Sandbox now supports reboot inside of its virtualized environment. For example, if you were to click the restart option under the power button and start, this is also an interesting change. Now let's talk about some fixes that I think that are important and are useful in this new build. They finally fixed the taskbar icons, so now the start, search, task view, widgets, and chat icons in the taskbar should no longer be unexpectedly large when the system scaling is set to 125%. Also, an explore.exe crash some insiders were experiencing in recent flights related to updating badges in the taskbar is also fixed. And of course, we have other fixes regarding input, windowing, and settings that you can find the whole list of in the article down below in the description. In the article down below in the description, you also find the known issues for this build. But actually, I think that this build is a very nice one because Microsoft added a few nice changes and improvements to the operating system. This is Windows 11 build 22K509. I'm hoping you like this video and this presentation. As I've said, more info in the article down below. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.